Hey everyone, it's Kasagin, and in this video I'll be going over my new tier list template. So it's a few steps, but you can have a tier list set up and ready in less than 5 minutes. So let's go over how this will work. So right now I'm using uh, some Ben 10 images from one of my last projects. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so let's go over how the effect is going to work. On start, uh, the image at the top is going to cycle, the animation at the top is going to cycle through images and then land on a specific one. Afterwards, you can click anywhere where you see a plus. You can replace these to replace, you know, replace these images with whatever you like. But the base template comes with a plus. So if you want it to be, say you want this character to be an S rank, you click there and then it cycles through. Um, in the node section over here, you can, depending on what you change it to, each one maxes out at five. So if you want five possible S row candidates, set it to five. And now we have five possible places where we can put it. It's dynamic and it continues to cycle through. Say you want five at D, you just click that, enter. And now we have five options at D. Say you want zero for A and zero for B. Now we don't have any options there. So it's pretty cool how it worked. I made it, um, I was very intentional about, you know, making it much more easier to use, especially for beginners. Um, just a quick note, you realize we have 13 possible options, 5 in D, 5 in S, and 3 in C. As such, make sure you have enough images for all the options. So if you decide to do, say, uh, 25 possible options, just make sure you have enough images. You have at least 25 images. Alright, so let's go, um, I guess, now to making those changes. So I wanted it to be a lot easier, but the most straightforward way was all you have to do is just, I know it takes like a minute or two, is to change these, change the textures in the animation textures. I believe there's 25 of them, but it's very quick. So the first thing to do is delete this, delete this uh, texture sequence that was imported because we have a five megabit limit and uh, 5 megabyte limit and this itself is already 1.2 me 1.02 megabytes so just delete that save yourself some space for in the event you have like 40 50 or even 60 images however however much as long as you're compressing them and yeah um just a tip make sure to compress your images before importing them i normally do that um for all of mine so i can have a lot more and um it makes it easier on the on uh, Effect House, as Effect House will automatically try to compress it. All right, so now that we've deleted the uh, animate, animated textures, you realize there's a pink image at the head. Um, what this is, is it's basically just letting you know that there it's expecting an image to be there, but it was deleted or the file got corrupted or something, but the image that was expected to be be here is no longer here. So it's quite common. So if you see this pink box anywhere in your program, just know, oh, an image got deleted or something's misplaced. So right now, click the plus, import, and then texture sequence. I already have these uh, basketball players from another project, so I'm going to use that. Uh, when you're importing texture sequences, make sure the dimensions for all of them are the same. So this one is 341 by 415. All of them have to be the same dimensions, um, or you won't be able to import it. Um, I believe the max is 1,025 by 1,025, so don't make it too big either, or you won't be able to import it either, and it'll feel pretty bad. So let's start there, and let's go to Lamello. So hit open. So this is, here we have it, texture sequence. So a lot of times, if you don't see texture sequence, it might be named the first item in the sequence. So let's start. And all we have to do now is go from eight all the way down to two and just change the texture. Wherever you see change section, you see missing, just click this and click texture sequence. So I'm gonna speed this part up, but I promise you it's like a minute or two and you'll have a full on project.
And now we just change this last one here, change two to texture sequence, and voila, we are done. And there you have it. So let's actually make this to where it makes a bit of sense. So let's try one in S row, two in A, three in B, uh, let's try C, three as well, and then five. All right, let me let me play around with this for a while. I actually do like this concept. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's another D rank. Come on, give me somebody good. And Kawhi is an A. All right, so that's basically how this works. If you don't want anything else in this, you don't have to do anything else. This is completely fine. And you can end the video here. But if you'd like to see how we could maybe add... Let's see, something fun at the end. Uh, so when we have all of this filled, um, either an animation plays or something. So let's try the asset library, which is a good resource to find uh, node groups or 3D objects, 2D objects, 2D objects, uh, makeup, anything interesting. Sorry, now I'm looking for a bit of 2D animation. Something not too big. Uh, let's see, how big is uh, perfect. Import and apply. Do you remember? All right, so let's set this invisible. And um, when the effect ends, set visibility. We'll set it visible. And this is confetti 3 so let's look for it. confetti 3 set it visible. And also, play it so animation texture player and um uh play what animation are we playing confetti here it is zero three confetti animation from zero to so this is a neat trick to know where the animation ends and basically what this is is every animation is just a group of images a group of frames so to know, okay, how much of this animation do we want to play from frame zero, which is the first, normally when we count, we count from one onward, but in programming, it's from zero onward. So from frame zero or the first frame to wherever. So to know what the last frame is, we go animated texture sequence, I believe, uh, texture info. Yeah, animated texture info. Find the animation, the animate texture. There we go. And let's see, frame count. And then just subtract one. And we're subtracting one because if this animation has 20 frames, because we're counting from frame zero, we're not counting from one, we have to account for that one. So we just subtract it. And there we go. So let's test this, but let's make this a lot smaller so we can test it properly. Or I guess quickly. Da, 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 da. Right, there we go. All right, so Brandon Ingram. Let's see. Uh, in the event I get Steph Curry. I don't think I'll get Stephen Curry, but that's fine. JaVel McGee, put him at D. All this to test the confetti, or this should be it. And there we go, confetti. So yeah, this was a lot of fun creating. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. Best to probably reach me on Discord or Instagram, which will be in... Um, the link section in my in the description. Uh, if you create anything cool, also reach out. Uh, join the Discord. A lot of cool creators are there. We all post whatever we come up with, whether it be our effects or just anything cool in general. So until next time, I have a really cool video coming out, and um, 